Well, Metro students and teachers, they aren't the only ones having to adjust to the new changes this upcoming school year because of COVID-19. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres shows us how the choice to keep kids at home affects their bus drivers. With the changes to the upcoming school year, Metro school bus drivers will have to wait even longer before they can pick up their students. And while they're still going to get paid, it just won't be the same. Kind of proud. I am proud of this. If you could give Tracy Garrett a report card for her job as a school bus driver. I have a 319 hat. That's my bus's name, Bookham. Many would give her an A+. Plus. It's just the joy to see the little children happy to go to school. And not just for accomplishing her daily duties. I would not allow any kind of mischievousness. It's all about safety. But for going the extra mile. Everyone's giving a snack or a candy as they exit the bus. She sees the kids like her own students, hoping to start and end their day on a positive note. I give gift cards for good grades. But because of COVID-19, these tokens of encouragement have piled up after routes were put to a halt. Oh man, it was heartbreaking. I mean, it, at first, you know, I was like, wow, no school, you know, yay. But, you know, after sitting at home and not having the same routine daily, it, 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 it has taken a toll on me. You know? Garrett is one of more than 450 drivers forced to wait now that Metro schools will start the new year with kids learning remotely at first. I, I really do miss the kids. I never think I would say that, but I, I do. There were concerns at first, but Metro schools officials say the drivers will still get paid. They'll be running their routes for student meal delivery and drop off equipment to help with virtual learning. Garrett is just itching to get back. I, I'm, I can't wait. <laughs> because there's no grade high enough that can match passion like this. It can't get here fast enough. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Thanks, Matthew.